Hi everybody. It has been a bit of a rough week uh, for motorsports fans around the world with the passing of beloved uh, Formula One commentator Murray Walker earlier this week. And uh, also I was very saddened to uh, hear the news uh, today of Sabine Schmitz, the queen of the ring, the queen of the Nordschleife, uh, the Nurburg ring, uh, passed away this morning uh, from cancer. And uh, she has been an inspiration to many, many motorsports fans. And uh, one of my favorite memories, and probably a lot of people's favorite memories of her, is her many appearances uh, on the TV show Top Gear, especially her extremely valiant attempts at throwing a big old van around the Nurburgring. And so uh, I figured, uh, you know, I just, I just felt led to uh, make this video. I, I wanted to do something to honor her memory and also uh, Murray Walker's memory. And so we are going to go for one lap around the Nurburgring for Sabine, and uh, what we're gonna do is, uh, unfortunately, it is not going to be the most respectful lap because I am putting myself in a one-lap race with 31 opponents, and I am not going to play nice. It's going to be a knockdown, drag out, bully my way to the front, lots of argy bargy, hopefully lots of fun, and uh, maybe I can bring some smiles to motorsports fans' faces after a bit of a rough week. So, we are going to be driving the Ford Mustang Boss something or other. Uh, oh, it's right there on the screen. The, uh, the Boss 302 R1. I don't know how much horsepower it has. I don't know all the stuff, but uh, I've got, I own as my daily driver, a uh, just base model, regular old V6 2014 Mustang. Uh, and so this, uh, this car, the Boss, is the same generation, same body style as mine. So I figured I'd, you know, take the closest thing to my car around the Nordschleife. Nordschleife. I probably butchered that. Anyway, let's get to this absolute travesty of a race. But like I said, this is this is to bring some smiles to people. It's gonna put a smile on my face. I'm probably gonna wreck. But here we go. One absolutely top gear bonkers lap with 32 cars of the Nordschleife in honor of our queen, the queen of the ring, Sabine Schmitz. So I'm using a, uh, I'm on PS4, I'm using a Thrustmaster uh, T150, and I don't really know what the settings are. I have not played Project Cars 1 in a very long time. I like it much better than Project Cars 2 though, because the brakes I can actually feel. Anyway, let's go, we're on 50% out of 100% difficulty. And it's go, 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 go! That's my terrible Murray Walker. Impression. Lots of argy bargy here for Sabine. Let's go. Like I said, the, the difficulty slider is on 50 out of 100. This is just for fun. And I'm terrible. Also, you can see we've got the uh, little brake helper indicator on because. I do not, in fact, have all 73 corners of the Green Hell memorized. We're going to be getting all the black flags, although it's actually been relatively clean so far. Ooh, had to get off the gas there. Going to dive way too deep into the corner. Okay, you've got a warning for the race director for cutting the track. Ah, it's shut up, you Formula the One the jazz nut job. Line. Over the hill, very scary, onto the brakes, which are incredible in this car. I don't know if it's just because, like, driving assists are turned on, but the brakes are amazing in this Mustang, which maybe actually might be the car, because the brakes on my real-life Mustang are amazing as well. Okay, you really want to go over this crest flat out, and the keyword there is WANT. Because you can't, you shouldn't. That's a very bad idea. Never ever go over that crest flat. Oh, good lord. Argy bargy. That was dumb and incredibly disrespectful. But it was fun. 
jump out on the curb there. That was a little scary. He's looking for an opportunity to get around this guy. Whoa, big slide there. Almost spun it. Probably cut the track there. Surprised I didn't get another black flag. Oh, are we going to do it? Of course we are. Bonsai, let's go. Also, one of the things that is really annoying about this game is you can turn on the uh, rear view mirror, but it does not work in cockpit mode. Why? That is like the main area where you would actually need a mirror. I mean, you can kind of see it over in the corner, but that's, that's useless. So, we're going to go uh, with the first rule of Italian driving. What is behind me is not important. Big slam! I have upset many people. Oh, let's dive up the inside here. Eight tires is better than four. Where are we? P17. Ooh, big on the brakes there, but we made it. Oh, I could have dove up the inside there, but I wanted the inside for this corner, which I blew anyway. Oh, but there we go. Good exit. We got a big slide out of the exit, but it was still better than that guy. Better than the 50% AI car. Like I said, this isn't to show off. This is just for fun. Ooh, that was... that, that felt great. And we are now entering my favorite part of the track, which if I was not in traffic would be flat out. Ooh, but we really got to play nice with the traffic here. But yeah, you can take these corners flat and just slide through them. I don't know if it's the fastest way, but it is the funnest way. also the easiest part of the track, but I'm mean, still, you, you really got to get your steering right, because you're sliding, and you're just on the edge, oh, I had to lift there, just on the edge of control, oh, do we lunge, I know there's a right-hander coming up, but let's go for it, I think we're around him, just made that corner, I don't know if we apexed it or not, but... Oh well, alright, now to the signature corner. Into the carousel, which we've completely blown. Major screw up. Oh, and we had a great run, but he blocked us. He had traffic, and he was trying to get around it. Or she! This video is in honor of Saving Schmitz. I shouldn't be using he pronouns like that. This is, this is in honor of women racers everywhere. I guess we'll use they. We'll use the gender neutral they. Anyway. Up into 12th. And we're uh, a little bit past halfway. We'll use another Murrayism with half the race complete. There's half the race yet to go. Oh, big slide, big slide. This is easily the worst part of the track for me because I usually get bored and don't ever complete the final third. We're going to dive up the inside here. Big dive. Oh, man. We actually made a clean pass there. Into P10. I'm really starting to concentrate now because, like I said, this is my worst part of the track. That's a scary little hill. A bonsai? No. Didn't have the run. Ooh, big run out of the corner there, though. I don't know if he's still side by side. A little scared. Oh, that's also a very scary hill to crest. Very oversteery. Okay, we did get the position there. A little more conservative going into this corner here. 
Whoa, he broke way earlier than I thought he would. Alright, little mini carousel. Does this corner have a name? I'm sure it does. I'm sure all 73 or some odd corners have a name. Alright, let's try and get around the outside. Because after this little multi-apex, very difficult hilly corner is the super long stretch. Release the hounds! Really let this Mustang V8, I don't know, go full song. As Jeremy Clarkson would say, POWER! And you know we can't lift over this hill. We cannot lift. No way. Witness me! <laughs> oh, he got us back. I don't care if we got a cut track warning. That was brave, and I'm glad we didn't crash. I'm proud of that. Bump and run! In the final corner. And across the line for P5. Hey, look, we still got all the bodywork on it. Okay. Well, that was absolutely nuts. Will it, uh, will it let us see? One. Yeah! Ford Mustang 1 2, so. Not, not 1 2, the number. 1 T O O. Anyway. Oh, that was, that was so much fun. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope it put a smile on your face after what might have been a bit of a rough week with the loss of our beloved Murray Walker and our beloved Sabine Schmidt. So, like I said, hope that was fun, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.